friends happy hump day so Wednesday today is wait is enough Wednesday oh my god there's one fly in here and it keeps flying in my face <laughs> so wait is enough Wednesday was started by Melody from transforming Melody and Rhonda aka Spanky Cola um, there is a whole list of beautiful women who are all on weight loss journeys of their own um, we are not all doing Weight Watchers. Some are doing just... Stop. Sorry. It was driving me crazy. Um, okay, so some people are calorie counting. Some are doing low carb. Um, everybody is on their own path, but we like to get together and share. So, oh my lord. So, this last week... I am on week three of the vegan challenge. Um, I did two full weeks of pure vegan, and up until today, I am pure vegan. I am going to start allowing myself meat once a week, meat and eggs once a week, um, either fish or other meats, doesn't really matter. Just one day, and I kind of um, it went into this a little bit. This video will be up before my vlog from today, but my husband loves to cook for his family, and like he was home last night, and we kind of did our own things. He had um, cheeseburgers on the grill, and I made black bean burgers, which was fantastic, um, but he likes to cook for his family, and I enjoy cooking with him, and I'm going to start allowing one night a week, like tonight we are going, tonight we are going to do the uh, Salisbury steak from Skinny Taste. Um, so that has beef and turkey, ground turkey and ground beef in it. Um, I'm going to stick with 100% dairy free. I will not be going back to dairy and I will be eating roughly 90% vegan um, the rest of the week. So just one day a week, I'm going to allow myself to have meat or fish um, and maybe eggs for breakfast. I did not have time this morning. I did have eggs on my menu plan today. And if I had eaten when I came back from bringing my son to school, I probably would have eaten an egg. Um, but I ate before because I was starving. So um, eggs and meat one day. No dairy. So... Let's see, let's kind of recap. The first week I did the vegan diet, I lost 8.2 pounds. So last week when I weighed in, after one full week on vegan, I was at 159, which surpassed my Weight Watchers goal and brought me closer to my ultimate goal, which is somewhere between... I would like to hit 150 so that I can kind of float between 150 and 155. So 8.2 pounds the first week. Last week I did 100% vegan and I weighed in Monday morning, this past Monday morning, at 156.8. So I lost 2.2 pounds this week. So I am... At a total of 93.2 pounds. If I hit 150, it will be 100 pounds lost. And that is, at this point, as far as I want to go. Um, so I have 5.8 pounds left to lose. Um, so not too shabby. So cool. Um, so this week is going good so far. I've had a few bumps in the roads, not food-wise, but um, my son started preschool yesterday, and that went good. Mama was a little emotional, um, but everything is really good. I am doing the best I can to get activity in. I think as we get into this whole school, my husband's been off different days this week because we took vacation last week and then he worked a lot he worked like three 17 hour days this weekend because when he came back from vacation one of the other chefs went on vacation so he had to cover some shifts so he was home yesterday and today and he'll be home half of tomorrow which normally he's only home wednesday and thursday so 
next week we'll be back to full new schedule with Grayson being in school and my husband being back at work um, his proper regular days so we will reevaluate then um, I did do a two and a half mile jog last night and we walked a ton on Monday um, we went to a local amusement park where we walked all day long um, I do not have my Vivio Fit right now. Last week the batteries died and now Vivio Fit batteries are good for one year. My Vivio Fit was one year and one week old and the batteries died. I replaced the batteries and it worked great for one day and then it completely crapped out and when I took everything apart the inside the brand new battery was all corroded so I called where I bought it from and of course it was one day, I mean one week past its one year warranty. So I do need to order a new one, but I do not have the extra funds, definitely not this week. Um, I had a little mishap with my car yesterday. Um, I was pulling out of a parking lot and all of a sudden there was all this glass sound and I thought somebody had ran into me. Turns out somehow, some way, the back passenger window exploded. It just, it sounded like someone was shooting at my car, super scary, but of course with the deductible we have for our insurance, the whole window is going to have to be paid for in cash. So that was extra money that we really didn't anticipate spending this week, so I'm probably going to have to wait another couple of weeks before I can order a new... Vivio Fit, I'm trying to find a used one or a refurbished one on eBay right now so that it's a little bit cheaper, but in the meantime, I don't really have a way to track, but steps have never been my problem. I am always over and above my steps, so I'm not really worried that I'm not getting adequate steps in during the day. I hate that I can't actually see what I'm getting, um, but for now, this is the way it has to be. However, I am trying really hard to get my activity in. Like I said, we walked a lot on Monday, and then I did a 2.4 mile jog last night. And I'm hoping to get another walk in tonight, which will be my three um, 30 minute activities this week. Um, I'm probably going to do more, but at least I will get in what I had set off to do. Um, so yeah, things here are good. I'm still plugging along. I really would like to get to 150 and once, excuse me, once I get to 150, I think I will work on maintaining a little bit um, and see what that looks like. Um, I have not changed anything in my Weight Watchers app or anything like that yet. Um, I think I do want to get to 150 first just so that I have that leeway of a handful of pounds that I can kind of go up and down um, and stay where I want to be. So that's it for me today, guys. I had a great week, down 2.2, um, going in strong this week. Definitely still loving this vegan lifestyle or this mostly plant-based uh, lifestyle. Um, I wouldn't say I'm true, true vegan. I did have some tea that my mom had made the other day. It had honey in it. Um, but I am 90% plant-based, 10%, I don't even know how to break it down, one day of meat and eggs. And I am eating honey again. So... I'm going to stick to that for a while. This lifestyle works for me. I feel amazing. And I don't want to say anything about pressure or anything like that because my husband would be perfectly happy to let me cook myself or to cook me something else tonight. But I just want to have one day a week where I can eat meals with my family and not stress about it and get kind of my fix. I don't really necessarily miss meat. I don't crave it. I don't, but I don't think it'll hurt anything. So please check out all the other ladies in this collab. I will link all of their channels below. Have a great week. I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.